Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Manal El Harak. I'm the CEO of Sadler Health Center. It is our pleasure to be hosting the open enrollment press conference here at Sadler. Sadler is a federally qualified health center serving Cumberland and Perry counties. Uh, we provide affordable, accessible, comprehensive, community-based primary medical care, dental services, behavioral health services. This means we serve everyone, including patients who are uninsured, underinsured, or have government-sponsored insurance like Medicaid or CHIP. Also, Sadler helps provide support services such as resources to access essential um, uh, services such as food, transportation, housing. We are located here in downtown Carlisle and we have an office in Louisville and Perry County where we provide dental services with a new center opening in Mechanicsburg in 2023. Joining me today is Michael Wolf, uh, Chair of Sadler's Board of Directors. And together, on behalf of the staff and the Board of Directors, we would like to welcome and introduce PA Insurance Commissioner Michael Humphreys, Penny Executive Director Zachary W. Sherman, and Tia Whitaker, Outreach and Enrollment Director of PA Association of Community Health Centers. There will be time at the end to answer questions. Penny is the common one's official uh, online health insurance marketplace. The 2023 open enrollment period began on November 1st and will run through January 15th of 2023. Similar to the mission of Sadler, the goal of Penny is simple, to improve access to Pennsylvanians to secure the care they deserve, ultimately giving more people the opportunity to live healthier lives. Every day we witness the benefits Penny brings to the lives of our patients. Not only it allows them to access high quality, affordable care locally, but it opens the door to access specialty care and prescription medication. Amidst rising inflation, Penny helps keep insurance costs down and open enrollment is the opportunity for Pennsylvanians to protect their health and wallets by getting the coverage and care they need. Now I'd like to introduce Pam Price, Sadler's Outreach and Enrollment Specialist. She will share with us her role at Sadler and a few stories of how she helps people secure affordable health insurance. Pam. Thank you, Manal. Good morning. Uh, my name is Pam Price and I'm an Outreach and Enrollment Specialist for Sadler Health Center. I've been employed by Sadler for over 12 years and have assisted individuals and families to obtain affordable health coverage for more than six years. I was a certified navigator in the federal marketplace up until Pennsylvania moved to the state-based platform of which I am now a certified assister through Penny. I assist consumers primarily in Cumberland, York, and Perry counties, but I have met with consumers all over um, South Central Pennsylvania. Um, since the start of Penny in January of 2021, I've met with hundreds of consumers seeking affordable health care coverage. I've seen many consumers receive greater health coverage savings as a result of the transfer from the federal exchange to Penny's state-based exchange. Thanks to the continuation of many amenities of the American Rescue Plan, many consumers will receive extended enrollment periods and additional financial assistance through 2025. Uh, one consumer I met with had been, an un had been on unemployment, had no insurance, and just started a job as a self-employed delivery driver. The special enrollment period offered as part of the American Rescue Plan provided her the opportunity to apply and, and obtain an extra savings silver plan. Had it not been for that special enrollment period, she would possibly still be uninsured today. Another consumer I'd met had lost their job and was uninsured when challenges struck. Not only did they recently become displaced due to a fire, but they also ended up in the hospital due to an emergency health condition. Had it not been for the special enrollment uh, period afforded those under the 150% of the federal poverty level, this consumer may have faced insurmountable medical expenses. Several consumers that I've met with um, that have incomes over the 400% of the federal poverty level who prior to the ARP would not have been eligible for premium tax credits and are now in a position to receive assistance and affordable coverage. There have been many consumers that due to residency statuses were not eligible for medical assistance or CHIP but became eligible for coverage through Penny. 
Penny insurance also affords those consumers between the ages of 62 to 64 who are now eligible for Social Security a way to remain um, a way to remain and cover by affordable insurance if they des desire to retire before they are eligible for Medicare. Um, there are just these are just a few examples of the savings that consumers received thanks to the assistance offered through Penny and the American Rescue Plan. In addition, there were many consumers I assisted that referred to Medicaid or CHIP that may not have known about these coverage options had it not been for Penny. I would sincerely like to thank the staff and the board of directors at Penny. Thank you for your professionalism, expertise, and quick action while responding to the ever-changing opportunities of the health insurance marketplace. You have not only made the benefits afforded by the American Rescue Plan accessible, but have made them read readily available to all Pennsylvanians. Thank you. Next, I'd like to welcome Tia Whitaker. Tia is the uh, Director of Outreach and Enrollment at the Pennsylvania Association of Community Health Centers. Tia. Thank you, Manal, and thank you, Pam, for those testimonials and stories. So I'm especially pleased to speak today as it marks the 10th open enrollment for the health insurance marketplace under the Affordable Care Act. Community health centers are unique primary care facilities with a more than 50 year history that provide a wide array of services in underserved and historically vulnerable areas of the state and nation. Pennsylvania's community health centers serve more than a million patients at more than 395 sites in 54 rural and urban counties throughout the Commonwealth. One in every 13 Pennsylvanians count on community health centers for their medical, dental, and behavioral health care, as well as other services like enrollment assistance. The Pennsylvania Association of Community Health Centers and the community health centers we serve have been providing enrollment assistance through the health insurance marketplace since 2013 with the support of more than 130 certified and trained enrollment assisters statewide, enrolling consumers in health coverage, the impact Penny has had and continues to make is undeniable. While community health centers by law and by mission offer access to health care for all regardless of ability to pay, and regardless of insurance type, health insurance is still vitally important to patients and others in the communities we serve and aids in the reduction of disparities. It is insurance that opens the door to a broader, broader health care system, including specialty services and necessary inpatient and outpatient care. Through our health center network, unbiased free enrollment assistance is easy to access on the penny.com website under search for in-person assistance. Helping families obtain the security of health insurance and linking them with needed care changes health and changes lives. Moving from being uninsured to accessing coverage through Penny has enabled thousands of Pennsylvanians to increase their overall health through annual preventative medical visits and management of acute and chronic illnesses. I tell the story of a couple who felt as if they were priced out of health insurance coverage because of their income and their monthly expenses. With access to additional savings through plans only available on penny.com, they were able to purchase quality health insurance and care for less than 50% from the cost in previous years. Community health centers will continue to be the care that knows you and that can be counted on now and in the future. Thank you. Commissioner Humphreys. Good morning. My name is Mike Humphreys, and I have the privilege of serving as the Commonwealth's Acting Insurance Commissioner. I'd like to thank first uh, the Sadler Health Center team and for hosting us today and for your ongoing commitment to the community. I'd also like to thank all of the speakers here today for their collective dedication to ensuring all Pennsylvanians are aware of the coverage opportunities for themselves. 
One of the insurance department's top priorities is to increase competition within counties, which ultimately presents more opportunities for consumers looking for comprehensive health insurance coverage to meet their needs. And despite the ongoing pandemic, in 2023, every one of Pennsylvania's 67 counties will have at least two insurers, and some counties will have up to six insurers offering coverage, including Lancaster, Lehigh, and Northampton. This marks the fifth year where we're seeing increased competition demonstrating Pennsylvania's efforts to stabilize and improve affordability within our marketplace. And with these increased options, it's more critical than ever for those who rely on Penny to research the plans that are available to them through Penny. Every year our department hears from people who didn't think that they'd be eligible or qualify for not financial assistance through Penny only to find out after exploring their options that financial assistance is available. And now, as a few of the speakers have mentioned, there's even more financial assistance available to Pennsylvanians than ever before. Pennsylvania's reinsurance program, which was created under the federal section 1332 state relief and empowerment waiver and enabled by Act 42 of 2019 that also created Penny, is provided has provided measurable savings. This year, the program is resulting in 2023 individual market premiums that are over 4% lower than they would have been absent the reinsurance program. In addition, the signing of the Inflation Reduction Act in August extended enhanced premium tax credits that were previously provided through the Federal American Rescue Plan Act. These credits lowered and in some cases eliminated health insurance premiums for thousands of lower and middle income families enrolled in health coverage through Penny and will now continue to do so through 2025 thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act. New for this open enrollment, a recent federal change in policy will address the so-called family glitch to improve affordability of health insurance for family members with insurance through a spouse's or parent's workplace. Penny Executive Director Zach Sherman will talk in greater detail about that in a moment. Uh, but back to Penny, there's currently nearly 340,000 Pennsylvanians enrolled in coverage through Penny, and nine out of 10 of those Penny customers are receiving financial assistance. In Cumberland County alone, there are more than 7,000 Penny enrollees, with nearly 89% of those enrollees eligible for financial assistance. So thanks to the continuation of the enhanced premium tax credits and the family glitch fix, we anticipate that more Pennsylvanians than ever before who enroll in Penny coverage for 2023 will be eligible to receive the financial assistance. The insurance department in Penley strongly recommend Pennsylvanians shop around for the best plan to meet their individual family and financial needs, even if you're currently enrolled in health coverage through Penny. Factors one might consider when searching for a plan to meet their family needs are monthly premium, provider network to make sure the providers that they are seeing remain in the network or are available, um, prescription drugs, and you could search through carrier formularies to make sure medications that one is on now um, are going to be covered by the health plan. And of course, also, we'd, we'd encourage you to look at deductible and out-of-pocket costs that you might incur during the plan year. And please remember that, that Penny is the place where you can shop for coverage, access financial assistance, and have the com comfort to know that all the plans that are available to you will be the full Affordable Care Act benefit suite with robust, comprehensive coverage to cover all of your plan needs. The Pennsylvania Insurance Department, along with the governor, Governor Wolf, is committed to providing Pennsylvanians with access to quality health care coverage while fostering a competitive, solvent insurance market. Uh, we want to stress that the department is here to help. If any consumer has any questions about their insurance, an issue with the benefits, or questions about coverage and what may be available to them, we encourage consumers to contact us. Our website is insurance.pa.gov and a number of consumer hotlines are available through our website. Um, the main one that we would recommend reaching out to is 877-881-6388. Uh, thank you, and now I'll turn it over to Executive Director Zach Sherman.
Thank you, Commissioner. Good morning, everyone. My name is Zach Sherman, and I'm the Executive Director of Penny. <clears throat> Thank you to the leadership of Sadler for having us here today. Thank you to Munal, Pam, um, and to Tia for, for having us today and helping us announce open enrollment. As a reminder, open enrollment is open today, and it runs until January 15th, with December 15th being the deadline for coverage that begins on New Year's Day. If you need health insurance or are paying too much for what you have, now is the time to check out what Penny has to offer. Why is that? Uh, it's because we, we, health insurance gives you peace of mind, financial security, and access to services which allow you to catch things before they become problems. And because Penny can help you save on health insurance. As has been mentioned, thanks to changes to the Affordable Care Act, the subsidies available through Penny today have never been more meaningful. Nine out of 10 Penny customers qualify for financial savings, and nearly 40% pay under $70, $75 a month. One of the largest barriers to getting and keeping health coverage is finding a way to fit it into your budget. Through Penny, no one has to pay more than 8.5% of their household income, and oftentimes it's much less. One out of four customers pay less than $30 a month for comprehensive quality coverage through Penny. Qualified customers include working families who make too much to get medical assistance, sole proprietors, gig workers, near retirees, and anyone not receiving their health coverage from work or through Medicare. In addition to the savings, as the commissioner mentioned, um, I wanted to share starting this open enrollment, more people will now qualify for savings at Penny. A recent change in federal policy has improved the affordability of health insurance for families who get coverage through their work. Pennsylvanians asked to pay more than 9.2% 9 .9 of their household income for their employer family plan can now come to Penny to receive premium savings to reduce their cost of coverage. Up until now, some families have been locked out of receiving subsidies through Penny, even if the cost of the family plan has been far more than 9.2% 9, 9 of their income. Anyone previously impacted by this issue should come back to Penny during this open enrollment to apply or update their application to see if they qualify for savings to, uh, to reduce their monthly costs. A simple visit to penny.com will show you what these savings will look like for you and your family. Not only do we aim to deliver the best plan at the most affordable price, but we also try to make the enrollment process as simple as possible. Simple to apply, simple to shop, simple to enroll, and simple to pay. Penny.com allows you to apply, compare plans, enroll, all in one place. While the goal is simple and easy, we know applying for and enrolling in health insurance can be overwhelming. Please know that there's assistance available to help you navigate through the process, getting you from confused to covered. You've already heard from a couple of sisters today, Pam and Tia. They, they, shared, they shared their work helping people navigate the process. Penny sisters, Penny brokers, and, and our customer service representatives are all trained and certified to provide you answers and guidance. Assisters and brokers are your friends and neighbors in your local, local community and are able to help in person, over the phone, or virtually, and in one's preferred language. You can find your local assisters and brokers on the Connect page at Penny.com. We can also connect you to them if you give us a call. Penny customer service can be reached at 1-844-844 8040 and for the first time ever we are also providing chat assistance at the call center both the call center and chat are available in english and spanish and if you speak another language the call center can connect customers to interpreters who can assist along the way if you thought health insurance was not worth it we we strongly encourage you to come to penny.com to take a look at your options I think many will be surprised at one, how quickly you can get a quote using our plan comparison tool, and two, how the available savings allow coverage to fit into your budget. If you or anyone you know is seeking coverage, you can go to penny.com, and if you enroll by December 15th, you will have coverage that begins 
on, on January 1st, on New Year's Day. For those enrolling between December 16th and January 15th, coverage will begin on February 1st. Uh, but we urge you not to wait. We urge you to come in and sign up today. Again, the website is penny.com, P-E-N-N-I-E.com. And the, the phone number is 1-844-844-8040. The call center is available from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and on Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Thank you for joining us today. And with that, uh, that concludes our program. We'll, we'll take any questions you might have. No questions is acceptable as well. All right, thank you very much. I'd like to welcome and introduce CA Insurance Commissioner Michael Humphrey, Penny Executive Director Zachary W. Sherman, and Tia Whitaker, Outreach and Enrollment Director of PA Association Insurance Market. The 2023 open enrollment period began on November 1st and will run through January 15th of 2023. Similar to the mission of Sadler, the goal also ended up in the hospital due to an emergency health condition. Had it not been for the special enrollment uh, period afforded those under the 150% of the federal poverty level, this can and are now in a position to receive assistance and affordable coverage. There have been many consumers that due to residency statuses were not eligible for medical assistance or CHIP, but became eligible for coverage through Penny. Consumers in health coverage, the impact Penny has had and continues to make is undeniable. While community health centers by law and by mission offer access to health care for all regardless of ability to pay, and regardless of insurance type, health insurance is still is free enrollment assistance is easy to access on the penny.com website under search for in-person assistance. Helping families obtain the security of health insurance and linking them with needed care changes health and changes lives. Moving from being uninsured to accessing coverage through Penny has enabled thousands of Pennsylvanians to increase their overall health through annual preventative. To research the plans that are available to them through Penny. Every year our department hears from people who didn't think that they'd be eligible or qualify for enough financial assistance through Penny, only to find out after exploring Act 42 of 2019 that also created Penny, is provided, has provided measurable savings. This year the program is resulting in 2023 individual market premiums August, extended enhanced premium tax credits that were previously provided through the Federal American Rescue Plan Act. These credits lowered and in some cases eliminated health insurance premiums. And access to services, which allow you to catch things before they become problems. And because Penny can help you save on health insurance. As has been mentioned, thanks to changes to the affordable market. One of the largest barriers to getting and keeping health coverage is finding a way to fit it into your budget. Through Penny, no one has to pay more than 8.5% of health coverage from work or through Medicare. In addition to the savings, as the commissioner mentioned, um, I wanted to share starting this open enrollment, more people will now qualify for savings at Penny. See if they qualify for savings to, uh, to reduce their monthly costs. A simple visit to penny.com will show you what these savings will look like for you and your family. 